Oh, please. I need to format, wrap, text. Howdy y'all, my name is Gretchen. I'm the Restless Thrifter and I'm bringing you a sales update from January 8th through 14th. So the second week of 2023. And it was pretty good. It was a pretty good week. Not as good as the first week. If you watched that video, it was my third highest profit week ever. This one was still good though. I am a full-time reseller right now. I recently switched to full-time and I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I do sell mostly clothing, but I'm like branching out into shoes and bags and home goods. And when I give you my sales updates, I give you all the numbers. I give you how many days it took to sell. I tell you the keywords I use and I tell you my profit. So that's going to be everything after um, shipping costs and cost of goods, so how much I paid for it, and after marketplace fees. So I'll tell you how much it sold for, and then I'll tell you how much my cost of goods and profit were. I sold 51 items. So I sold a couple of more items this week than last week, but I made a little bit less because I just wasn't selling things for as high of a sales price. Last week I was selling more formal wear. I think I had four suits or something. And this week I just had some lower profit items. By marketplace, I sold 30 on eBay, 13 on Poshmark, and Mercari, nine. Um, this time my ASP on Poshmark was the highest at $43.15. And then on average, things took 106 days to sell. Really like that. On average, my sales price was $31.52. Now keep in mind with eBay, that is gonna include shipping costs. And then my average cost of goods was $4.05. And my average profit per item was $17.26. So lower than last week, you know, I'm, I would love for it to go above 20 and stay there and then just keep climbing. <laughs> Wouldn't we all? So I share three categories with you. First, top 10 sales by profit. Second, anything that sold within two weeks or less. And then third, I talk about some lessons learned. So, you know, maybe what didn't sell well, maybe what I wouldn't pick up again. And I have five of those that I wanna share with you today. Um, sometimes once I get through all of my top 10 and my fast flips, I'm too tired to talk about all of the lessons learned. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> I wanted to first ask if you could give me a thumbs up real quick and subscribe if you're not already, if you find this interesting. I really am trying to grow my channel. I also want to tell you about some optional ways to support my channel other than a thumbs up, which is probably the best way. Um, leave a comment. That's also great. I also have a buy me a coffee link below. I know who am I to ask for money for coffee. I am someone who can't afford Starbucks anymore. <laughs> And that is who I am. And I really enjoy Starbucks. So if you feel like it, send me a little, uh, send me a coffee and I will give you a shout out. If you're a YouTuber or a reseller, I'm happy to give you a shout out for your channel or your store. Just let me know. And then I also have some referral links below for the services that I use that help me be successful in my business. I'm watching my client. My client is a little corgi. He's sniffing my bag of merchandise. He's bored. Okay, after this video, we'll go on a W, okay? Um, Vendu, the most important one for me. I use it to track my inventory and to track my sales and to cross post to all the platforms that I list things on. Um, Posher VA, it's important for Poshmark because it, Poshmark insists on people sharing their closets and things, but it also sends offers for me after somebody likes an item. So I do like that. I do get sales from that, as you'll see. You get a toy? When I start talking, he gets annoyed. He's like, I want you to play with me. I want to play with you too. So let's get to this. 
but I also have a link below for one other thing, I think. Posture VA, then do. Oh, my Rover profile. So um, that's how people find me for dog sitting gigs. And I do this on the side of my side hustle so that, um, you know, I can try to make a, a full-time income while I'm trying to scale my business. So we're going to dive into the top 10 sales by profit, least to most. The first one was a Calvin Klein size 10 sunburst sheath dress, Ponty knit bodycon cap sleeve career. You hear all those keywords? I always start with the brand and then the size and then usually like what it is, like it is a dress. Um, if I have a style name, I'll include that in there. Sunburst is I think the style name for this one. Maybe it's not an actual style name, but it had like a sunburst pattern on it. Really cute dress. And these Calvin Klein career dresses can do pretty well. This took 86 days to sell. It did sell on Poshmark. It was a full price sale for $39. And I think I had started it probably higher, probably at 40 and then dropped it a dollar. When I relist things, sometimes I'll just drop it a dollar. Just keep dropping a dollar till something hits. The cost of goods was $2.18 and my profit was $29.02. You know, this dress retails for 90. It's really nice. It was in great condition. It had been well cared for. It had been dry cleaned. It had the dry cleaning tag on it. And I picked this up at my local honey hole here in Denver. The next sale was a City Chic Plus size 18 Fleetwood print maxi dress, jade blossom wrap kimono sleeve. I loved this dress. This was gorgeous. I was thinking about keeping this dress for myself. I was going to wear it to my mom's funeral, but I think it was a little too Fleetwood Mac for my family. So... <laughs> I did not. And it was a new with tags item. It took 64 days to sell on Poshmark through a customer offer. Customer offer of 40. I had it listed for 53. I know that I had dropped the price on this. And so it sold for 40. Cost of goods was $1.70 and my profit was $30.30. Next item is something that took a while, but it was a really nice jacket. Escada Vintage US 6 EU 36 wool blend zip metal logo hardware blazer suit jacket, a really beautiful jacket. And I just wasn't going to give this away. It took 523 days to sell. It did sell on Poshmark. Poshmark was just doing really well for me. And it sold through a customer offer of $50. I had it listed at 68 and I had relisted it more than 10 times. It did um, sell a couple weeks after relisting though. So for 50, I had paid seven and my profit was 33. You okay? Okay, the next of my top 10 sales was this Rustberry Soft and Suede Tippy with Tag Teddy Bear Suede Paws Washable Plush Toy. I think what was special about this was its little suede hands. Um, it took 55 days to sell, it sold on eBay. Through a customer offer of $45, I had it listed at 60. With shipping costs, that was $53.41. I had paid 67 cents and my profit was $34.50. I got this at a thrift store that is now closed down in, in um, it's not in Denver proper, but it's in one of the suburbs. And now it's closed, which is sad, but I had just a Ikea bag of stuffed animals and the guy looked at it and eyeballed it and gave me a price. And so I divided that by the number of items and came to 67 cents. Next sale was a City Chic Plus Size 22 Va Va Voom Dress Emerald Midi Formal Cocktail Wedding. This sold in 108 days on Poshmark through a Posher VA offer with discounted shipping. So that's one of those tools I told you about that I have a discount code for. And it sends an offer five minutes after somebody likes an item on Poshmark, it'll send a 20% off offer with discounted shipping, which is great. And I get at least a couple a week through that. Um, I would say it pays for itself, this service. The price sold was $53. My cost of goods was $1.70 and my profit was $38.02. Now I have a couple of more city chic in here too. So you're probably, if you're new to my channel, wondering why does she have so many of these plus size dresses in this brand called City Chic? I came across a bunch of these at a thrift store in Texas. 
um, several months ago and I still have more to list. But I bought pretty much every dress that they had when I saw that they had this many. City Chic is a great brand for, for women's plus size dresses. Plus size anything, but the dresses really do well. And these were all new with tags. And so, you know, I, I was kind of wheeling and dealing, sending really good offers out. Next sale. This is something that was free because it came from my own closet. This was my pair of Hoka. Now, I've heard people say Hoka 1-1, one, one, Hoka One One. I don't know how you say it, but they're Hoka women's size 9.5D wide shoes, Bondi 6, that's the style, running Stability Indigo Pink. I put Stability in there because that's actually why I purchase them. I do not run, but I need a good Stability shoe because I have plantar fasciitis that just refuses to ever go away. So... It's a great stability shoe, and I wanted to get some new ones. These were still in really good condition since I don't actually run. <laughs> Sold in seven days on Poshmark, and through a customer offer, I had them listed at 60. They sent me an offer for $54. I accepted. My profit was $43.20, so I just put that right back into another pair of Hoka's. I actually bought two. Because I wear them every day, pretty much. Except for when I have to wear my stupid snow boots when it's stupid snowing in stupid Denver. No, I love Denver. If you haven't heard from of Hoka's, they are a bolo. Even fairly worn. Um, if you can get them for a good price, like I would say under $10, then I would pick them up. They retail for about $150 or more. And the ASP is $52 with a 36% sell-through rate. So they, they are a consistent seller. Okay, another City Chic, City Chic Plus Size 24 Elegant Maxi Dress Shock Pink Bridesmaid Cocktail. This was very pink. Barbie would be proud. 139 days to sell on eBay. We went through three rounds of offer, counter offer. They started at 35. I had it listed at 89. Um, I got them to come up to 50, so I accepted with shipping. It was 62.42. My cost of goods was $2.71 for that one. And my profit was $43.27. All right, another city chic. Are you bored of it yet? Plus size 20, Ripple Love Dress Flex Fit Magenta Pink Cocktail Wedding. This um, sold in 95 days on Mercari and it sold through a customer offer of $54. I had it listed for 70 and I had paid $1.70. My profit was $44.83. Now I'm going to talk about some of the keywords in here. Flex fit. A lot of the city chic dresses will say flex fit. And what that means is that they have this sort of split in the front that makes it a flexible fit. So plus size women have hips of different widths. Everybody has hips of different widths. How do I describe this? So just because you're plus size does not mean you're hippie, but you might be. And so what's great about these flex fit dresses is that they fit people of a lot of different widths. Like I may be the same size up here as somebody else, but then my hips may be larger. So this really provides some freedom of flexibility. And I may cut out all of this because this just seems weird. All right, next to last sale on my top 10 is this John W. Nordstrom size 44 short, 100% cashmere, Laurel Piana navy blue sport coat blazer. Beautiful fabric, Laurel Piana, look for that. That's a good thing to find. 100% cashmere is always good. Make sure you're inspecting for holes. It did take a while to sell, 220 days, sold on eBay. A customer accepted my offer that I sent of $66.88, which is a great deal, guys. But the Nordstrom, John W. Nordstrom brand, didn't seem to have a really high sell-through rate. Cost of goods was $8.69. My profit was $48.43. And I got this at Mile High Thrift in Denver. And my best sale of the week was a Burberry Vintage two-piece wool chalk stripe suit, 42 long, two button jacket, 34 waist pants. This sold in 180 days on Poshmark, which is great for a suit. Um, it sold through a Posher VA offer with free shipping because anything over $100, I offer free shipping through Posture VA and it sold a couple weeks after relisting it. So it sold for $151. My cost of goods was 12 
and my profit was 101.13. All right, I have a bunch of fast flips for you guys. So anything that sells in two weeks or less, I consider a fast flip. Really anything that sells within a month is a fast flip, but I'm not gonna go over all of those. I'm gonna go over these and I have 16 to go through. So I'll try to get through them pretty quickly. There are some fun things in here. The first item is something that I shared in a thrift haul recently. It is a Torrid Size 0X Rust Brown Duster Kimono Cardigan Boho Festival Short Sleeve. Really beautiful color, I loved this. It sold in 15 days on eBay. Oh, 15, yeah, I do have several things in here that sold in 15 days. That was so close to two weeks that I wanted to share. So yeah, I have one, five things that did take um, one extra day, but that's okay. 15 days on eBay through a customer offer of 30. I had it listed for 40. So the total price sold with shipping was $36.12. My cost of goods was $1.40 because I got this at the Denver Bins, the Goodwill outlet where you buy things by the pound. And that was my average cost of goods that day. The profit was $24.83. Next fast flip is this Ralph Lauren men's size XLT, which stands for tall shirt, big and tall plaid button down long sleeve, sold in 15 days on eBay through a customer offer. Big and tall, great to look for with these Ralph Lauren polos, the regular sizes I haven't had as much luck with. So it sold through a customer offer of $18. I had it listed at 25. This was actually something I got for free from a friend and it sold with shipping for 23.23 and my profit was 12.23. Next fast flip, Eton, Eton? Eton? I don't know. Can Eton Eton. Eton Contemporary Sweden. Men's size 42, 16 and a half dress shirt, button front plaid check. Sold in 15 days on eBay. I actually bought this for my husband thinking he might like it, but he was like, no, it's weird. So um, it sold through a customer offer of $22. I had it listed at 38. Price sold was $27.23. I had paid $8.69. Again, I, I paid up a little bit, but I was thinking I was buying this for my husband. So my profit was only $9.51, but it did flip quickly. It, this is a good brand. I just would keep the cost of goods lower than that. It does have a 32% sell through rate though. Next is an Old Navy plus size 4X tank swing blouse new lace inset embroidered ruffle neck. Really beautiful. I loved this. It was new with tags. Sold in 15 days on eBay through a customer offer of $15.99. I had it listed for 25. This is something I picked up the bins. I was happy to sell it quickly and it's Old Navy. So it probably was on sale for $15.99. At one point, the price sold with shipping was $21.07. My average cost of goods at the bins that day was $1.40 and my profit was $9.37, but I made it really quickly. Next fast flip is this Mountain Bow men's size, waist 33, link 32, slim stone jeans, medium gray, mid-rise soft denim. Now I have a thrift haul that I think is going to be posted before this that talks about Mott and Bow. I picked up another pair of jeans. They sell pretty quickly. They have a 29%, no, a 42% sell through rate. This sold in 15 days on Poshmark through a customer offer of $23. I had it listed for 31. I don't know why I had it listed for 31. I think I had it listed for 35 and then I must have dropped the price through like a, you know, closet clear out kind of thing. Um, so it sold for 23. I had paid 1087, too high. Um, my profit was only $7.53, but I was checking out this brand for the first time, trying it out, and it it's a good one. I will pick them up again. Although beware, look things up periodically because sell through rates change. The next is um Sorrel Sorrel. Sorrel women's size eight Tivoli to suede snow boots, gray faux fur lined calf link. I had paid up for these. So I kept getting offers for like 30 bucks, but I had paid $18 and 49 cents. And I'm like, I can't sell them that cheap. These sold in 11 days on eBay. I had gotten two offers for 30 and an offer for 35. And I was countering and people were just not buying. Um, somebody offered me 40. I'm like, okay, I'll take it. I had them only listed for 50. I thought 50 was great, but 
when I kept getting the low offers and the snow season is starting to come to an end for a lot of people, I took that. So they sold with shipping for $56.34. Again, I had paid $18.49. My profit was $10.69. I got these at a an ARC in um, Lakewood, Colorado. ARC is a uh, thrift store chain. Next item is something I got from the bins. It's a set of two cowboy and cowgirl dolls, unbranded Western retro stick horse. I couldn't find any information about this, like who made it or anything. So I listed them pretty, pretty low, but they were a full price sell, sold in 10 days on eBay for $23.82. My cost of goods was $1.40 and my profit was $7.68. Got this at the Goodwill outlet off of Kearney in Denver. I love that place. Next is something that I wouldn't have picked up if I didn't know that they weren't 50% off. So ARC had been running all their Christmas decor at 50% off for like the week before Christmas. Goodwill was not. <laughs> and I was at Goodwill and I picked up these thinking that they would be 50% off. Then when I got home, I realized that they weren't. But they were Lily Pulitzer ornaments, pink tropical leopard cat Palm Leaves Christmas Holiday. Two cute ornaments in a box. Sold in 10 days on Mercari. Customer offered me $26. I had it listed at 30, so I accepted. And my cost of goods was $16.31. My profit was only $5.84. Oh well. These did have a 35% sell through rate, so I was like, ah, oh, I'll get them, you know, at 50% off. You know, I may not make a whole lot, but they'll sell quickly. No, I made even less, but it's okay. Next fast flip was this Disney Parks Mickey Mouse Ears Santa Hat Adult Size Very Merry Christmas Party. Very Merry Christmas Party is the name of some Christmas thing <laughs> at the Disney Parks. Sold in nine days on Mercari. It was a full price sale. It was at the bottom of my, of my smart pricing, which was $18. My average cost of goods at the bins where I got them was $1.40 and my profit was $13.78. You'll notice I'm selling a lot of things from this one trip to the Denver bins. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six things, which is great. Next fast flip is a life is good size extra large crusher tee, the ocean is calling V-neck short sleeve gray. Sold in nine days on Mercari through a customer offer of $12. I had it listed for 16. I probably could get more for this shirt, but I had not sold this brand before. I watch Kaylee Elaine a lot. She gives great information about sell-through rates and what works for her. And Life is Good sells pretty consistently for her. So I was like, yeah, let me pick this up. It was at the at the bins for $1.40 and I made $8.55. This next item was something that photographed beautifully. It was so pretty but it did have a flaw. One of the straps, the leather straps was torn in, a, in half, like half of it was torn. So I listed it really low and took a low offer. It was a world market boho purse, Southwest woven tapestry, leather fringe shoulder bag. And it, the pictures are just beautiful. Sold in eight days on Mercari through a customer offer of $7. I had it listed for nine. I was like, let me get this out of my house. I, I've said this before, when I find something with a, a pretty significant flaw, pretty noticeable like that. I just want it out of my house. I do not want flawed merchandise to be hanging around. I want to make the money that I can make off of it quickly. I only made $3.60. My estimated cost of goods for that was about $2. I think, I don't even know where I picked it up anymore. All right, next fast flip is an Eileen Fisher size large linen silk blend cardigan sweater, open knit gray, three quarter sleeve. Another thing that had a flaw that I listed low to get it out the door. Seven days on Mercari through a customer offer of $17. I had it listed for $22. My cost of goods was $6.22, but I didn't notice the pulls in the fabric, which was great fabric content, by the way. So my profit was $8.09. So you can see a lot of lower profit items, but they sold quickly because I want to move stuff. Next fast flip, I think we have, yeah, we have four left. Travel Smith size medium leather blazer sport coat, new washable suede water repellent. This sold in five days on eBay through a customer offer of $38.88. I 
I had it listed for $50. I accepted that with shipping. It was $48.47. I had paid $15. That's paying up. I probably shouldn't have paid that much. This had a profit of $17.28. Next fast flip is a vintage plus size 18W dark floral shirt dress. Kathy Lee woman tie waist midi. Beautiful dress. Kathy Lee is what, Walmart or Kmart or some inexpensive brand, right? But this was vintage. It was a beautiful floral print. It was plus size. I had seen on Poshmark that dark florals were doing really well. I took my gut instinct and I got this. I paid $6.52 for it. It did flip quickly in two days on eBay through a customer offer of $20. I had it listed for 30, so I accepted. With shipping, it was 28.30, and my profit was $9.57. Not a huge profit, but I just had a good feeling about this dress. Next to last fast flip is a Carhartt work in progress, that's WIP, size XL, sweatpants, joggers, brown, drawstring, pockets, thick, flaws, all caps. Great pair of sweatpants, but it did have some staining that I couldn't get out with the wash, but it sold in one day on Mercari. I did not jot down how it sold, like whether it was an offer or something, but I bet you it was. For $23, my average cost of goods at the bins that day was $1.40, it was the same trip. And my profit was $18.13. These are really nice, heavy sweatpants. And my last fast flip was Wrangler size 38 leather belt embroidered concho Southwest Western no buckle. This is also a lesson learned because I listed this too low. These belts um, can go for like 40 or $50. I had it listed for 20, which is way too low. I just didn't realize. And then I got a, an offer very, very quickly. Um, and one day on eBay, they sent me a really low offer and I countered and they came up to, I can't remember what it was, but with shipping it was $20. And I went ahead and took it. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna take the lesson and take it and, and go with it. I'd only paid a dollar eight and my profit was $11.67. So if you see these belts, leather with conchos and embroidery, the Southwest embroidery, it's it's a really good thing to pick up, especially if it's like Wrangler or Stetson or um, Roper, you know, some of those more well-known brands, Tony Lama, um, Nakona, all of those brands. Lessons learned. I'm going to go over three. And the first one is this German vintage candle, Little Red Riding Hood, Gunther Kurzen D, 6869. Vuldern. I don't know what those words mean, but they were obviously on the candle. And so I put them in the listing. This took 531 days to sell, but it did sell on Poshmark. This was my longest tail item within this week to sell. Sold for $11. I paid $1.40. This was not from the same bins haul. I can't remember where I got it, but my profit was $4.93. If these candles are in good condition, they can do better. But this one had been burned and, um, you know, as candles should be, and just had some wear. So it was not uh, something I should have picked up. The next item is a handmade embroidered Mexican floral top pockets size extra small. Couple of lessons here. One, don't pick something up just because some greedy person tries to snatch it out of your hands at the bins. That is how I ended up with this. Two, do not try to wash something. <laughs> like this. the um, I sold it really low because the white ended up having some bleeding on it from the embroidery with my wash. Sold in 46 days on eBay and this was my lowest profit item of the week. Um, it sold with shipping for $9.90. I had paid a dollar at the bins that day and my profit was $1.53. Hmm. Oh well. And then my last lesson learned that I want to talk about was a North Face size four short convertible roll up hiking pants outdoors active wear. These took 331 days to sell. They sold on Poshmark for $24, which is not bad, 
My cost of goods was $2.18, not bad. And my profit was $17.02, not bad. But they did take almost a year to sell. And my lesson learned here is that um, North Face pants, they don't sell. They don't sell quickly or for a whole lot of money. They hang around. Now these were a small size, so maybe that's why they took longer. These also were shorts, not shorts, but short length. Um, so maybe that was something to consider as well. At least my cost of goods was good. So as long as you're okay with having things hang around your house for a whole long time, it's fine. But I'm sort of not because I just don't have that much space for my inventory. All right, so that is everything I wanted to go over with you guys. Um, like I said, it was a decent week. It wasn't my best, but it was pretty decent. I'm not tripling my income with this week, I will tell you that. But all I can do is keep listing and keep checking sell-through rates and comps. Like it's, it's more important than ever for me. I cannot just source by gut and because I like things anymore. I did a lot of that for the first two years. This third year of my reselling, I need to really focus on what's gonna actually sell to make me money because I wanna do this for a living and not have to go work for somebody else again, except for dogs. I will work for dogs any day. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye. Your parents are not in that room. Do not get those socks out of there.